Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, back in the garage again. Uh, no, still not working on the uh, the bike. Uh, today, I actually want to talk about trade-in value. Anyways, let's get into it. So yeah, I'm still not doing the uh, handlebars yet. Uh, I did actually end up opening the uh, the box up, so I actually know what they look like and what uh, what brand and everything is. Well, I already knew what brand they were, but uh, what they actually look like. Um, but I did run into an issue, and that's why I'm not actually installing them yet. Um, Duke, it's just a box. Uh, the other thing <laughs> is... Uh, black bars and those are chrome um, I even forgot that I actually ordered uh, black bars um, now I have seen people with black risers and the chrome bars um, but I've never seen them with the black bars and the chrome risers uh, I don't know it might might have looked all right still but uh, so that could be another question I could ask you guys, uh, if you noticed in that clip. Um, I actually have black handlebars, I guess my thinking at the time, again, this was back in 2022 that I ordered them and received them. Um, black handlebars with chrome, uh, or sorry, I guess I ordered the black handlebars because I figured I would go with black risers. However, kind of looking at it, putting them up there, I kind of... I don't know, black handlebars with chrome risers. I've, I've seen people with black risers and chrome handlebars, but I haven't seen it inverse. Um, I don't know, let me know. Do you guys think that would be a good look or not? I, I, I don't know. Anyways, let's get into the topic. So we actually, I actually took my wife into uh, the dealership this weekend um, just to, you know, look around at bikes, street glide. So what happened? She's into it. But anyways, that's not what this topic is about. Uh, we did a high level. We went in uh, to the dealership. It was uh, like 10 minutes before they were closing. Uh, we didn't know that it was 10 minutes before, but it actually worked out better for us because uh, we are impulse shoppers. But anyways, we went in there. Um, I talked to uh, the sales guy. He's actually a sales guy that actually sold me this bike. Uh, he was at a different location. He's at this location now. Um, but great guy. If you're ever at Mississauga Harley, uh, ask for Dave. He's a, he's a great guy. Don't tell him I sent you there because you'll probably get a markup. But anyways, uh, so we just did high level. So anything I'm saying here is just high level. He didn't uh, look at the bike. He knows what the bike is having sold me it. Not that he would remember because it was, you know, three, four years ago. Um, but all of these are high level. So he kind of gave me a price of, again, high level of what a new bike would be plus add-ons, you know, Harley, you know, this is what the price is. This is the price for all the add-ons to make the bike yours, right? But anyways, that's here nor there. Um, but I did bring up the uh, the question of trade-in. And I, I mean, he remembered that it was a Sport Glide and uh, he knew it was 18, 19. So I told him 18, which it is, is an 18. Uh, I didn't tell him any kilometers or anything like that. So he's like, uh, you know, he just priced out one recently and he said about 12 to 13,000. Now, twelve to thirteen thousand. That's obviously at the dealership. I know they've got to make money. However, having said that, I there's not a lot of these around, um, and I'm not saying that oh that should make the price go up or anything like that. I'm not. I'm not uh, trying to imply that. So the Sport Glide, they actually don't actually sell in North America anymore. I think Australia and the UK, uh, other places like that, you can still get them. But in North America, they stopped selling these in 2021, I believe. Um, so they're hard to find, actually. <laughs> they're not, uh, there's not a lot around. I, I've had people on online tell me that there's a lot in their area. But here where I live, I don't see very many. Uh, when I travel into the States and I go to... Uh, dealerships down there they never seem to have any uh, I guess that doesn't mean that other people don't have them I just don't see them very often so that's where I'm I'm at about trading in it's hard to get a value for what the bike would be because I don't see them very often so I've actually seen three in the past year or so uh, the first one was actually at one of the dealerships that I like we have five in about an hour drive from where we are um, there I've only ever seen one and that was just recently, it was within the last three, four months. Um, and it was actually listed at 21,000. 
um, and a week later it had a sold sign on it. I'm sure they didn't get 21,000 for it. Um, it was a 2021, so obviously it was a lot newer than this one. Um, and going to be a lot less kilometers than, than this one. Uh, this one, I have about 38,000 kilometers on it. I'll put the miles in somewhere. Um, but that one there, I'm sure they would have got at least 19, five, 20 grand. I'm sure they didn't pay 21,000, but you never know. Another one that's up for sale right now is actually on auto trader. Um, that guy, it's a 2019, and he only has just over 12,000 kilometers on it, and he's selling his for 17.5, which is basically what I paid for this uh, when I purchased this back in 2021. Um, and it, it's a 2018, so it's in and around the same price range. Um, I think ours was 16.9, 17.5, because we got free oil change, something like that. I don't know. It was in and around that, that price range, which... I'm not saying I would get that for this one, um, but I was thinking more in the 15,000. Uh, the third one I've actually seen was back in November. My wife and I were actually in Las Vegas for the Formula One. Great time. Want to go back just to see it when it's the track's not set up because that was the only time we've ever been or I've ever been to Las Vegas. But anyways, that's here nor there. Um, they had one at the Harley Davidson Las Vegas and it was a 20, I think it was a 21 as well, but it was 18.5 US. So that's over 20 grand Canadian. So I was shocked that it would be that much. Um, again, I think that's, that's on the high end. Um, I definitely think I can get more than 12 to 13 grand for this. Um, I don't think I can get the 18,000 for it. So I guess that's my question to you guys. Um, do you think it's worth trading it in for less money than you could probably sell it on the, on the open market? Um, trading it in, I mean, we can do it at any time. Gone, paperwork, going to get, you know, probably 2000 less than what I can get on the open market. But we wouldn't have to go through the rigmarole of, you know, listing it, having people come look at it test rides um it could also be on there for two months um a lot of bikes i look on auto trader i look on there a lot um they've been on there for since like october some of them so um it's not gonna go flying out the shelf i mean it is winter but uh yeah anyways that's what i'm asking you guys do you think it's worth taking a, a few thousand less or sell it on the uh, open market and wait for a new bike basically um anyways until next time later